Death scenes in movies are super entertaining. In real life, not so much, but in movies, yeah. Since the beginning of film, we've seen some pretty crazy scenes, and some ways of dying seem to come back a lot. But a lot of those actually wouldn't happen like that in real life. Here are the most unrealistic ways to die in movies. For the sake of this video, we're not gonna talk about Final Destination because that seems like cheating, and also some of the older Bond movies. If you're new to the channel, you can hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to date with our videos. You have a trail of gasoline and you have a badass with a cigarette. That's a recipe for a cool explosion followed by a guy walking ever so slowly away from it without looking back. This usually looks pretty awesome, but it couldn't really actually happen. Gasoline isn't as easy to ignite as movies make it seem, and apparently researchers tried to light some with a cigarette over 2,000 times without success. They say the liquid smothers the cigarette out before it has a chance to ignite, or that it makes the cigarette's temperature drop too quickly and it can't ignite. Either way, doesn't work. So lava is deadly, don't try to swim in it. But whenever somebody dies in lava in a movie, they're always shown dramatically sinking into it like their body is just melting away one inch at a time. It's an awful death and it looks awesome in movies. But according to scientists, lava is super dense, which means you wouldn't really sink into it. You just kind of float at the top of it and burst into flames and burn, which is also a horrible way to die, but just doesn't look as cool. This is another classic movie death along the lines of lava, in that movies always show characters slowly sinking into quicksand, and if they struggle, they sink even faster. Again, it looks awesome in a movie, but again, apparently, it doesn't work that way. Apparently, you would sink a little bit into quicksand, but then the mix of water and sand would make you float, and the only way you could probably die is by kind of just getting stuck there and starving to death, not by sinking in all the way and suffocating like in the movies. Both those ways do seem very, very awful, though. There's this thing that movies and shows like to do where a character gets frozen and then gets smashed to bits. And a lot of times this is done with liquid nitrogen. People come in contact with it and they instantly turn into these breakable porcelain dolls. And it can make your skin very cold in real life, but it would take a really, really long time to change your internal temperature. I mean, don't play around with this stuff, but you're not gonna shatter. Anyone who's played Grand Theft Auto knows the satisfaction of shooting a car and blowing it up. This also happens in movies kind of a lot. As soon as people hit the gas tank of a car, it explodes and it's super dramatic. But in real life, there's not much danger of that happening. Gas tanks on cars are made to withstand really strong impacts, which makes sense because you don't want your car to explode in a fender bender. There's also not a lot of oxygen in the tank, so a big ass explosion can't really happen. So next time someone's shooting at your car, you have nothing to worry about. I mean, maybe try to not get shot. And that does it for today's quick list. Let me know in the comments section what other ways to die in movies aren't actually realistic. If you're watching this on Facebook, you can hit that link to jump over to YouTube and subscribe. Thanks for watching.